Daily, Abiding in Jesus Christ May 6, 2020 Isaiah 43 verses 1 to 4 Verse 1 But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. 2. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee, when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. 3. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior, I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia, and Saba for thee. 4. Since thou wast precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee, therefore will I give men for thee, and people for thy life. Quotation from the Spirit of Prophecy Those who accept Christ as their personal Savior are not left as orphans, to bear the trials of life alone. He receives them as members of the heavenly family. He bids them call his father their father. They are his little ones, dear to the heart of God, bound to him by the most tender and abiding ties. He has toward them an exceeding tenderness, as far surpassing what our father or mother has felt toward us in our helplessness as the divine is above the human. Of Christ's relation to his people, there is a beautiful illustration in the laws given to Israel. When through poverty a Hebrew had been forced to part with his patrimony, and to sell himself as a bond servant, the duty of redeeming him and his inheritance fell to the one who was nearest of kin. See Leviticus 25 verses 25, 47 to 49, Ruth 2 verse 20. So the work of redeeming us and our inheritance, lost through sin, fell upon him who is near of kin unto us. It was to redeem us that he became our kinsman. Closer than father, mother, brother, friend, or lover is the Lord our Savior. By Ellen G. White Desire of Ages Page 327